everybody. Um, today I uh, come and check Warframe and to my surprise they have released on a Friday the Arcwing update. One of their one of their biggest updates. Adding new game no modes and new features, a whole list of them. So thought I would go over some of them with you to share with you my impressions. Kind of an introduction. Just skimming the surface on what is really playable here, but what we have is um, change to all Warframes th that they have their abilities listed in a uh, in its own screen. So for my Mag Prime, I have all of its abilities that rank up with the rank of the Mag Prime. So at max rank, I have max rank in all abilities. Um, and it shows their stats. Um, I tested earlier to see if uh, the stats changed based on the mods you have equipped on your Warframe. Your ability modifiers, it doesn't seem like it updates these numbers, but that would be really great if it did. So as you start a new uh, unranked Warframe, the abilities and levels will unlock as you go. And uh, not take up mod slots, which is one of the big changes. If you um, go into the mod screen, there is now only eight slots, but they uh, removed the ability slots. So essentially there's more mod capacity for, for frames now. So I was able to add two more uh, abilities that the it frees up a lot of capacity, so you can uh, add a lot more uh, customization to your builds. Um, so you can add more uh, power range and sh shield capacity and health, and um, should be able to uh, accomplish a lot more with your uh, Warframe mods. So it also has a feeling of upgrading all Warframes because uh, sometimes you would uh, not have some of your abilities to make room for other necessary mods to focus on one ability or two abilities. Now you have all of them so you have a bit more flexibility when you're running missions to just use what power the situation calls for. So um, if we check any of my other frames, um, we'll notice that Trinity has max rank in all of hers. Um, we don't have to choose whether or not we use Well of Life or Energy Vampire. So I really like that feature. It, um, uses all of the content they've created for each frame a lot better, I think, instead of having to limit yourself to eke out a little more uh, power or speed. So I was going to run Mag Prime, and of course the namesake of this update is Arcwing. And so they added the Arcwing quest to unlock the Arcwing missions. Now, I haven't started that yet, but I thought I'd go in here with you and just start it from scratch and see where it leads me, see how it works. Uh, before we get into that, uh, I thought I'd notice some of the additions here. Um, they have two arc wings, and one of them you have to purchase and or build, and two other weapons. They also added a new Warframe called the Limbo. Um, I was watching the dev stream. Uh, apparently, they named the Warframe right there on the dev stream to Limbo. They hadn't quite uh, decided on what to name it yet. Limbo is pretty good. Um, if they had dance emotes in the game, then I'm sure he would know how to Limbo. Uh, they also added a, a couple weapons. The the Halakar, 
which is a jet-powered throwing mace. Quite original concept. Um, so I suppose it's like uh, other throwing weapons, like the glaive. Uh, pretty cool. The Soma skin is looking pretty, pretty cool. Kind of a painted, fancy wood burnish. The Huntsman skin, quite nice. And the Opticore is a Corpus Laser Cannon. Very nice. Looks sufficiently robust. Uh, does a lot of puncture damage, so like a piercing laser. Very nice. Might look into picking that up. Um, now they have statues. Um, a wobbly statue of Captain Vor. I think you add those into your ship. Um, the Limbo Theorem is probably part of the Limbo Quest. Takes Argon Crystals. So I'll have to do some Void Missions. Um, Very nice. So, some good additions. Now they added, also as well, before we get into the Arcwing quest, they added in Syndicates. And they have this new Syndicate console. And this will show you all of the Syndicates, which is very nice, and their symbols. Um, so, it shows, this is where you can check your status with each Syndicate how many reputation points you have with them. You can also this war click on them. The weak, no one stands up for them but still Meridian. These guys are the Brave Warrior Syndicate. They have their uh, <coughs> have their different uh, titles or, or names for each level of reputation. Brave, Valiant, Defender, Protector, General. Um, I think as a Valiant you get access to buying Tower 4 defense keys. So you buy them with your reputation. Which is very nice. Um, and if you get negative Reputation, you will be hunted by the Xmas Roller Squad, or hunted by the Xmas Roller Platoon, which uh, sounds pretty, pretty deadly. Um, and the way you get negative faction in something is you fight for their enemies. So if I fight for the parent sequence, or New Loka, then I'll get negative faction with Steel Meridian. Um, Arbiters of Hexus. The Arbiters of Hexus seek truth through trial and discipline. The Tenno will surpass their former masters. Seem pretty cool. Principled, authentic. I'm, me personally, I'm kind of leaning towards the Arbiters of Hexus. Now you can click here to do their initiation or here to check their offerings. So this is kind of their little mini store. Um, as you gain ranks, you can buy these with your reputation. They will give you access to Tower 4 survival keys. Um, all these different sigils. The corrupted Lancer Spectres. Um, specific mobs for the Burst on Prime. Jaw Sword. And then Augments for different Warframe abilities. Now I've gone over a lot of these augments and some of them seem pretty interesting. A lot of them seem to add, say that they'll add a certain type of damage to your allies' attacks. And I'm not sure what the numerical value is on that or the actual usefulness that that's going to bring, whether it's going to be worth a mod slot. So that's one of my concerns looking at these. Um, does that much capacity in a mod slot 
justify the augments. I actually posted on a f on the forums uh, an alternate mod slots just for augments, so that whatever they decided to add for those power augments w would have a space, wouldn't cost something else. You wouldn't have to sacrifice so much just to get um, a small augment. Uh, if you hit them with this, they're disarmed after they're confused. Um, the actual effectiveness or outcome of using these might not equal their cost. It's what I'm worried about. Is what I'm looking at. I, of course I haven't obtained them yet. I don't think anyone has. There hasn't been enough time that this has been released, but we'll see over time how that works out. So each of these syndicates has their own representative. Their own backstory. Um, it, it's definitely a good addition to the lore and feels more like the universe of Warframe is inhabited. So that's it's very nice. I think that's a great feature. They just kind of added that in there along with everything else. It kind of is an answer to their focus system since you can work on reputation with your different syndicates. Uh, and get uh, special bonuses to to weapons and Warframe abilities, so it's kind of a slight over rank 30 type of content. Alright, to start the Arcwing quest, I'll have to go to quests in the codex, click on Arcwing, shows m my frame in the starter arcwing we'll hit begin so um we hit begin and now have a message Scattering blueprints is what people of the future do, and then you have to go collect them. Um, so the symbol for the quest is that one, yeah. So we're going to Venus. We're going to Tessera. Sabotage. Recover the Arokin Archive. Doesn't look like any other squads are doing it, so I will attempt it by myself. You know, since they have space combat now, maybe someday they will have multiple ships. Pilot ships in space and have ship to ship combat. The it's not to be far stretched. Shut the corpus out of the void before we search for the Orican archive. 
Another change that came with this update is, um, which I believe is update 15, is that they removed ability mods from the drop tables. So I have personally felt the effects of finding a rare mod or uh, any mod and finding it's an, uh, an ability mod and going, I've already collected that. It's not going to, I have lots of fusion cores. So, ability mods were one of the most disappointing rewards you could receive. So, what they did with all the current ones that I had hordes of, is they changed them into fusion cores. Which is really nice, I have a, a lot of fusion cores now. Still very expensive credit rise to upgrade a lot of the mods, but I have enough fusion cores. <clears throat> My uh, Marilock performing quite well. In this situation. Should have set all the defenses off in the room. Hmm. We'll brawl run here. Oh, uh, one thing they did mention is um, change to melee mid-air attacks. I do a jumping mid-air attack. It's very nice. Helps. It's very aimable. Should help you hit mid-air enemies. <coughs> I like that. I guess if they took out the ground pound, uh, or if there's another way to do it. If you hold down the button, so this first mission is a sabotage mission. You come to this gate. I've opted to clear the room first and then. are a little more difficult because you have to move your mouse a lot more to get to the different regions of the... There's something on my face. Get it off! some of the AI on the corpus units. Good work. The polarity has been reversed. Now 
I've never been attacked by swarms of leech drones. So before on these missions there was a mini boss you had to fight to get the, the void key. But I'd never fought a corpus mini boss. The Lynx. Caches, how hard they're going to be to find. Oh, do I move slower with the key? Seems that I do. Now if only they could find a use for all the millions of Feldron samples and things I have. Feldron <coughs> costs money. And there's not a lot of weapons I can build with them right now. Quite satisfying, satisfying with a heavier pistol like this. I, I like me likey. any corpus caches. It's an interesting dead end, but still a dead end. attacks in the air. So, that's great that they added the mid-air attack, but didn't take out the other attacks. I've got a extended range pull on my mag right now. Should use that more to take out the drones. Oh, some 
sort of field, probably an Exodus in the boss. I wonder if they've changed. Hmm, that door up there was locked. How do I reach my destination? mission isn't bugged. To where I cannot... To where a door is supposed to not be locked. Can't rip the door open with my magnetic powers. Which would be really nice right now. might be a fail. I see that type of thing happen. Access to to uh, objective. Midair attack really adds a good lunge. Gap closer. Didn't aim it right. It's kind of harder to aim with the dagger, probably. But, uh. It's an odd 
reflection. Well, apparently there are no corpus caches. No way to get to the archive that you're after on this mission. Um, either I'm a victim of random tile set generation, or it will always be bugged, and when I run it again, it will still not allow me to get there. Um, I mean, if there was a console that I had to hack, I'd hack it. They really like their pressure plates. They thought, when we make our ships, let's put giant pressure plates on them. So we're going to have people boarding the ship. They'll want lasers. to each other. And an impassable door. I don't know, maybe they're being clever. And I need to use my codex scanner scanner. There's some containers inside this door, but no way to open the door. Well, this has been our adventure in the Arcwing update. But we will try this again. We will persevere. A minor setback. I suppose we will have to abort the mission. I do not see a way to complete it. But overall, I really like a lot of the changes they've put in this update. I'm going to try this Arcwing quest again. I'm going to get that Arcwing. I'm going to fly in space. And it's going to be great. <laughs>